Hi everybody, it's Laura. How are you today? So we are doing, um, I will show you what we're going to do, but with different colors. This is a previous painting that I did. This is a swipe and a drag, okay? But we are going to try it on a black background with interference colors as the uh, the little tendrils going up into the sky. So we're probably going to make a huge mess here because black is always messy. <laughs> oh boy, did this paint thicken up. Yeah, we're probably going to have a huge mess here. <laughs> it got cold here in Ohio. So let's spin this out a little bit. Get it going out towards the edges. We're going to see how it's going to move. So that is not even. Okay, we do not have enough. Let's add some more. Boy, this is going to use a lot of paint. All right, let's see what we got going on here now. See, and I'm dirty already. I could paint a bazillion paintings and not get any on me until I go and use black. All right, so that's good. It is moving. We're good. We're going to pop that little bubble. We're going to... We should have plenty. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to use my Glisten. That's an interference. I'm going to thin it. Just a little bit, because what I have is thick. Alright, now I am going to try my darndest, because this is where I always get into trouble. I'm going to try my darndest to do thin lines. So I don't want to take too much. And I'm already too thick. But since it's an interference, it might be okay. There. That's what I have to do. One swipe. There. One swipe. And we need just a little bit more here. All right, so that's all I have. That's going to move. Now, we're done with that glisten. Done. Now I'm going to do my drizzles. First of all, I have cobalt turquoise paint. So I'm going to do 
some drizzling down here. We don't really need to get out to the edges because that's going to spin. Okay. Then we're going to take, take Twinkle, which is a blue-violet interference. I want to get some of that down here. And I kind of want to go heavy on the interference because that shows up beautifully on darker colors. Then I'm going to take Cobalt Turquoise Light. These colors I'm using today are like my favorite colors right now. I am hooked on them. This little piggy agapanthus it's like a violet that I think are going to be sharp together at least I hope they are Then I've got Atelier Thalo Turquoise. Let me get some of this down here and some of it up here. I almost want to go light on this, but I love it so much I want to see what it's going to do. But we'll be a little bit lighter handed than some of the other colors. Then I have Macaw, which is a new interference I have. It's indigo and gold and it's got some turquoise greens and blues in it. Again, this is an interference. So, I kind of want to go heavy handed with that. All right. Now, what do I want to swipe with? Let's see. Yes. I just mixed me up some new cell activator. I'm going to swirl that around the tool. I might get some help from a popsicle stick. Okay, now I am only going to do, well, we'll see how it goes. Oh, yes. Okay. 
Now we have to give it time. Well, this is going to be sharp. This is going to be sweet. We're going to let it do its thing. It's working. And then we're going to do some tilting. So let me get my gloves on. We are going to need gloves for this. Oh, and I forgot. We have to do our swiping drags first. My goodness. Let me find my little swipey tool. I guess I didn't. So what we're going to do is we're going to scoop and draw. I so love this type of painting. Now I want to cover up this here. So we're going to scoop and drag. Let me get a paper towel. Scoop and drag. Scoop and drag. Scoop. There we go. That's what I was going for to cover up more of that center there. Scoop down here. Good. Scoop and drag. Now we want to try to get some lower scoops going over just a little bit of that, just so it doesn't look like they're all up on the top here. That's what I like to do. Oh, this is beautiful.
All right, so now I'm pleased with the scooping and dragging part. Now what I want to do is I kind of want to modify this bottom just a little bit. That's what I like to do so it's not such a stark line. Kind of break up some of that's going to get tilted off. Now, what I want to do is I kind of want to push that inward so it's not so thick. I know it's going to spread out when we spin, but and I don't know. Do we want, maybe we want to do one more scoop and drag over that and get rid of that. That's a little better. I'm just going to make this disappear. Good. All right. Now, I'm happy with that. Now we're going to tilt. Well, maybe we're just going to spin just a tad. Let's spin. Oh, yeah, we have to spin. Just gently. We'll see what's happening. really want to see these showing their colors. Oh, I love this down here. This is not doing what I wanted it to do up here. Let's keep keep going.
There we go. It's starting to spread out now. We may doctor that up a little bit. We've almost got paint on all the sides. Let's take care of that first. Needs a little help in a few spots. Good there. Good there. Good there. All right, our sides are good. Beautiful. All right, let me get my, I don't like that right there. This is okay. We've got some of that uh, um, one interference poking up through there. I kind of want to, Just touch these up. They're too thick for my liking. They are, that beautiful blue-green is starting to poke up in there. I think this is where I get into trouble all the time with these little doodads up here. I don't like how they turn out. Let me look at it. That's better. It's getting there. I like to give them a little bit of color. Okay, let's spin some more. So the swipe and drag park worked really well this time. This, um, this technique really, it looks pretty simple, but it's not. You've got to have the right amount of base paint down, pillow paint, 
to have enough to drag and then you have to have enough uh, you have to not put too much of this see that's spreading out Oh, I like that. I like that. I'm really liking that look. Okay, we're going to spin once more, and then I'll take you down and show you the shimmer and shine on this baby. It's really pretty. I am very happy with the colors. You know what it looks like? It looks like a volcano shooting up. Take you down here. I'm gonna turn it around. Look at that agapanthus in there. It is just sparkling. So pretty. Such pretty cells. And there's the um the glisten right there. That's your greenish color. And now you could start to see it up here. We've got a little bit of that last one. What was that? The macaw. That's the indigo and gold. You can see it down in there. So, very pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? Something different. I really like doing this technique. I I really have to keep practicing to not make those so wide. They they kind of get away from you. I think maybe if they were just a tad thinner, um, you wouldn't get the initial glop. So that would be my tip to you. But I think this is gorgeous. All right, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.